thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a thank you video. Kentaro Miyura, I just want to say thank you and I honor the life that you shared with us, right? I, I feel very, very compelled to make this video, extremely. I, I don't think I would be able to function the rest of this day 100% if I didn't make this video of just me saying thank you. And it's crazy because I just found Berserk this year. I just found Berserk this year. So imagine this. Imagine you, you just met somebody and you know, you can tell that this is the beginning of a very beautiful relationship. And then gone. And then gone. At the young age of 54. The young, the young age of 54. But you know what they say? It's not about how much time you have. It's about what you do with the time you have. And we could definitely say that Kentaro Miyota did amazingly with the time he had, man. But I remember when I first started Berserk in February. I first started Berserk in February, didn't know what the hell it was about. Didn't even know it was a dark fantasy. And man, come on, come on, y'all, who, who's been reading Berserk, watching Berserk for a long time, I'm going to take you really back because I'm, I'm new with it and it's a very early chapter. I think it was probably chapter three or four or something like that. Remember, Guts is walking. Guts and Puck, they're walking and they get picked up by a father and his daughter in a, in a caravan, right? You know, and they say, you know, do you need a ride? And what does Guts say? He says, man, it's, it's some demons and shit following me. I don't think y'all want that. And guess what, man? They picked his ass up and misfortune befell that father and that daughter. And that just woke me up. That just woke me up. I was like, well, goddamn. That was very realistic. That was very realistic. This is a dark fantasy that is extremely realistic. It shows you that not everything gets the ending you wanted to have. You know, there's always going to be a struggle. But you built for that struggle, man. So this is one of the greatest. It's crazy that we just got this. I feel like it's damn near a celestial ass example. What was the lesson that Kentaro Miyota was trying to teach us with Berserk, man? Life is going to always be a struggle. Life is going to always be a struggle, man. It ain't going to always be the ending you want. It ain't going to always be that fairy tale ending. And this is it. This is an example of that. I just want to say thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm a Berserk baby. But this shit made my heart sink. This shit made my heart sink, nigga. I seen it last night. I was like, wow. What the fuck? 2020 crazy as hell. 2021 showing you that it ain't no goddamn better. Kentaro Miyota, I just want to say thank you for existing. I am honored for being able to experience the legacy that you left behind and i'm still experiencing it i'm still experiencing it so y'all don't don't get hung up over the fact that damn and it's so fucking tragic he's gone let's celebrate him man let's celebrate him let's celebrate everything that he left for us to experience shit is crazy bro i'm hot as hell right now outside in sandals but I felt like I got I had to walk and do this video. Had to walk cuz there's a lot of shit just going berserk in my head. So I need to straighten this shit out, man. I just want to say thank you. Blessings to his family. My condolences. And y'all let's continue to celebrate this legend that we just lost.